Hello everybody, I am Nutrix. I have a cold today. You might hear it in my voice, but I'm okay. We will talk about a cool little app for the iPad or in the iOS. And actually it existed before as a plugin in Ableton Live. So it's not a new thing, but for me, it's a new thing on the iOS world. It's called New Path. A new path is a sequencer, a step sequencer that is a, I would say a 2D step sequencer. So instead of just being linear uh, and going forward and backward and random and, and all these different ways, it's actually, I would say to a point, a, a sequencer that does weird stuff. First of all, you can actually have five different tracks playing sequences at the same time. Each of them can play an internal sound. There's a little mixer inside it. Uh, there's effects like reverb and delay. There's a bunch of sounds you can play for them. Uh, you can export the mix that you did, but you can also use all of these five different tracks to send MIDI to trigger other sounds, hardware or software. So it's really, really a cool little thing, and it's weird, um, and I like weird. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll demo it uh, using their own in internal tutorial, which is really well done. And you'll see how this thing can be inspiring, can be triggering new ideas, and let's just, just let's go. So what we have here is is the interface uh the f you know really quickly the top is basically all the arrows and where the steps are going to go you have your colors uh, these are all different uh sequences that will be triggered you have the speed the node value and if you hold your finger on anything you're gonna have a contextual menu to explain what it is so oh, okay you can choose 4N is a quarter note, 4NT is a triplet, and 4ND is the daughter note. Fine. So right away, you know what it is. Same thing here. You hold the key and it tells you, oh, you can also have these other types of changes. So really, really interesting. Okay. Then what you have is these at the bottom are the choices of the different menus here. Okay. Or different section of this the the step sequencer you so you've got the arrows so the path it's going to play the notes that each of the blocks will play so if you click on one you can just select the note but if you select a whole line it will show you all the, the notes of that line as a step sequence okay same thing if you go like this it will show you from top to bottom will show you all the notes that you want to use and this Okay, you have uh, also a scale, so you can decide which scale you're going to use, um, and you can mute it or hear them. So it's it's fairly simple, and just like click on it, and you move it where you want it. You know, very easy to program. Next one is um, each of the steps. You will be able to change the pitch. Okay, uh, and these are. C, D, well, depending on what you want. You also have the octave. If you click on this one, you can decide that this one's going to be an octave higher. What? It... Okay. Now, this one is, do you want the node value to be quantize or normal? So quantize. So or normal and Q to quantize. Okay. This one here is the length of the note. So if you want the note to be long or short, and you see it in, in seven in uh, seconds, milliseconds and all that, then you get uh, control CC values. So you can assign again to something. Here, this one is the rem time. How much time it will take to, to do the movement you want. The repeat count. So if you get on that arrow here, it's going to repeat twice. This one is going to be three times. Okay, so you can repeat that note. 
the node velocity, the crossroad chance. So that goes uh, further down the road when you're going to have these options of path. So will it go up or left? And the chances is how much how chance it will actually move. If, if you click on it, if you don't know what it is, again, you put your finger on it and you hold the per cell crossroad chance for arrows with two possible direction. It gives a bias towards one of the two direction, basically. And this is the teleport. So you can actually teleport to a different place. And this is interesting when you start using the rules. So when you teleport, it will go to that place only if this happens at the same time. And it becomes really, really interesting. Let's actually uh, go into the tutorial. You'll see how this is really well done. Tutorial. Go here on the side here, you have this loading window, you have tutorial, and this is really well done. So this one is just showing you that you change, you can change the arrows where they go. And so if you play these separately, so you see where it's going. This one is the same notes, but a different speed and a different sound. So for each of them, you can say the sound. You can say if it's monophonic, the octave, minus two, velocity. So you can right away kind of create this harmony playing, uh, harmonics playing together. But you can understand, you can just basically just change the arrows here. But now everybody takes the new path. So it's not different. Okay. Let's do the basics now. Shapes, tools, and crossroad. Discard change. This example here is you can actually decide the crossroad. Will it go up or down, like one way or the other? It will go up or left or right, two direction, or in diagonals. Uh, and you can paint it where you want and all that stuff. Okay, let's. So. You see now it will go in one of the two direction, but to know which one, remember that this, this notion here of chances, 100% chances of doing this, 0%. So it will always go in the other direction, top. If you put at 63%, it will be more often than not, it will go right. That's it. That's kind of the logic behind using these. And you click on it. You can have also something like that. So this is really bizarre and fun. Uh, I, li I like the fact that as you play with it, you'll learn new ways to do it. Now the teleport is something different. Teleport, it will go to um, the same color somewhere else in the, in, in, in the path. You have a four-way crossroad, so it can go in any direction. A diagonal four-way crossroad, eight-way crossroad, you have eight way teleports is going to go randomly to the other places, teleport anywhere and teleport to the start position. Okay. So listen to this one. This is actually pretty fun. So you see that it goes to the arrows with the red and it jumps to the next red the closest one. So that's the teleportation feature. And it's pretty fun. OK, 
Okay, so that's the teleport. This one is about the fact that you can play with all these things. We just talked about it. You can go and assign a whole line to different notes. You can assign a whole line to see them, or one at a time. And they can be in different scales. You can select the note you're playing on which octave. And is it it's going to be muted or is it going to play? Okay. The rule is really interesting. The, the rule and the start position. So the rule is you can say that shape one and two shape is basically the first instrument playing, second instrument playing. Um, and you can give it a rule. So if it happens at the same time as another one, so X and Y is where it's going to be positioned. Equal, not equal, bigger, smaller, or equal, and all that stuff. Um, and then something's going to happen, you know. It can play polyphonic note or monophonic notes. And oh, the start position is also a fun thing. Okay, let's, let's listen to this one. So if you look at, um, let's say, rule one, it says shape one, so the one at the top here. If the X or Y equals shape two, where it is, then a note will play, it will flash and you'll see the line. So you'll hear that note playing on the shape one only when it crosses the path of the other line. If you go rule two, shape one will also play a note when it crosses shape three. Rule three, Shape two, when it crosses shape four, it will play a note. And rule four is basically shape one, when it crosses this, the, the path of shape five, it will play a note, and it will actually do a line. So it shows you that it's going to be reacting. This is just fun. I like it. And these here are the starting point of and move them to where they, you want them to start. So when you play from the beginning, now they're going to start to where position these. The last thing is you can actually save this here and it will save everything. If you click on this one, it's going to save everything. The presets is you can save everything. You can save just the shape, just the grid arrow, just the grid values, or just the rules. And um, then when you click on it, you're basically going to call them up. So you can click on this one. Basically changing the grid arrow. So you're playing a different sets of notes. So you're basically triggering different patterns, but it could be something else than the grid arrow. It should could be the sounds, the presets. It could be the rules that you're changing. So it depends. When all of this is done, you also have the mixing section where you can actually select the reverb, the delay, the sends for this, the volume for each of them, uh, and for the rules also you have controls here, which is interesting. You can link to Ableton Link. You can play Generator. So then it's gonna create new stuff for you. You can create teleport, so randomness. So really, really bizarre, and just create stuff right out of the bat and say, okay, you know, give me something different. So this is just like to create new stuff. So that's it. That's it's. It's a fun little thing to play. For what I understand right now, it's not a audio unit plugin. I know it exists, it exists as a plugin in Ableton Live. I'm just curious if they're going to do it as a plugin inside, you know, your favorite DAW, whatever. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a cool way to generate new sequences. It's, of course, you need to like step sequencing, but it's kind of interesting with the fact that you have the teleport, the rules, and the arrows, and the fact you can save these things separately. Really powerful. If you like the type, the this type of sequencer, it's 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 a real powerful one.
That's it. Stay safe. Make more music. See you soon. Cheers. <laughs>